I guess this is take two. So today it's Sunday evening and I'm going to record some videos. So we shall be looking today at the Ertl Miniature Thomas series. Now you can see this is barely bigger than my thumbnail. Um, so these are these are actually related to the the Ertl uh, series of toys. Um, they they came in sets. They did eventually come separately as key rings. Uh, I never got them when they were key rings. I actually bought these in sets. So this is of course Thomas little blue tank engine really really tiny tank engine in fact because just to the left of me here i also have edward who is also equally very small <laughs> he's actually slightly big and they all run on these roller systems so but they do actually you know they do work quite well but yeah Okay, so I'm just going to put these two to the side. You've got Edward, you've got Thomas. You kind of see where this is going, really. Let's put those down to the side. So I do have some of the sets. I did have more sets, but some of them have disappeared and they are, I think, in the loft of my parents' house. So the first one I'm bringing up is the level crossing. Now, I think I'm going on some vague memory here, but this is the set Thomas came with. Now, this one, as you can see, doesn't have anything in it. That's because I put them all with another set. <laughs> so, um, one of the things these did come with were these ramps. So, you just put the ramps on like that, and like that. Ooh, that was quite tight actually uh, I'm not going to force that but yeah you see where we're going with this it's sort of a it's a self-contained play set really so let's see if I've got let's just take those off now I do have to hand the uh, the parts for this one so first of all we've got the house now this goes on, I think it went on that way. Now two of the studs are broken so it won't actually stay still. And of course we have the crossing gates. And we have the big shrub thing, whatever that is supposed to be. And I can't recall if this came with either the tree or the bush so i'm just going to go for the bush right now i think it was a tree i don't think it quite blocked that but you can see what you can what you get with that really uh you've got a full sort of play set for thomas to chuff along but these play sets had a a function so We'll just put that to the side there. Now this one, I always used to put next to it. So this one is, as you can see, a siding. So, it's, uh, this is like a bonus to see what I actually put in each of these. So in this one, I have completely the wrong parts, except one. We'll put those over to the side. So we have, the signal box and nothing else I think James came with this one so yeah um, I'm going to sort of assemble these as we go along as I locate the parts for each different um, area but I remember it, you can put these as you like but in the packaging and I used to copy the packaging that used to go as one so the set, there was a set of four and a set of six initially um, but that grew and expanded so let's move on to the next one I've got to hand here see this is heavy I like that so let's have a look what we've got in here ah oh, excellent 
I'm going to tip these out and we're going to go through those in a little bit. So I've teased you on that one. Let's tip those out and we'll just put them to one side. This is insane because <laughs> I put all of the uh, actual die casts in that one. Now I remember, like I said, I'm weird, that this one was Edwards and on the box that went there. Uh, you sort of see where we're going with this and with that I believe that came with that. There's a roof to that somewhere which has gone lost in the midst of time and I suspect a lot of my parts have actually um, gone with the midst of time because I do have a few of these blocks which are missing um, well they're not missing they like I say they're at home um, my other home so I'm just gonna put the next bit in now I think this one came with Bertie I think oh uh, that's tight I don't like to force these things very well well oh that really is difficult oh there we are so yeah like I say they they did come in a set of six and a set of four initially we'll get onto the other curved bits in a moment Okay, they never used to be this bad. <laughs> there we are. Better brute force never hurt anyone. So on this one, this is quite a straightforward one. You have the windmill. And ah, there it is. The platform. That was literally all that one was. Um, came with Bertie and yeah, all of these transfers and everything were put together by about seven-year-old me. That's why they're quite a poor job. And so, moving on. <laughs> We've got another missing part here, but this isn't quite so bad. And we have there a station. And... Where did that station part go? I have no idea. I have the roof to it. <laughs> so there is um, a station building. Uh, it's, it will be in one of the missing blocks, I think. And yeah, and um, what there also was, if we uh, let's keep playing with this, just move that around again. I have Harold in the helicopter. And I had some kind of conning tower on that one. These all came with these ramps as well. So there's plenty of play value in it. And so, yeah, this is, this is not the extent of what I had. Um, I did have this other piece here, which was the engine shed because I've got the parts here that's the shed and somewhere is the turntable so there was a shed and a turntable here I'm gonna have to find all the rest of these set this up properly and um, there was also this was Harold's uh, helipad and I did also have um, some viaducts so instead of a section like this there would be a viaduct section which would just bridge between two sections they're all these standard sizes but the great thing is is that your set could be infinitely big because they just come off the ramp and they they just go all over the place so yeah they just go da -da 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 -da. 
and chuff, 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 all the way along. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pack these away. I'm going to actually pack them away so they are coherent to which uh, set they go with. I've been meaning to organize them, so why not? And I'm going to jump cut and then come back to you with the actual locomotives. And just like that, I'm back. So, uh, not only did I have to sort that out, I had to sort out the battery on this camera. There's no one charged when I need it. So let's um, have a look at the at the actual toy themselves, really. So, uh, first of all, we had a look at him earlier, but here's Thomas. Now, yep, yeah, he's very much die cast, very similar construction in many ways. Um, which is interesting because I in fact have two and you can see on the left he's got a much better paintwork and he's actually slightly better preserved but um, he's somehow got a mark on his left uh, left right hand side so yeah we have two Thomases obviously Thomas is going to be the most popular one um, but for years these were once the um, set sort of started to disappear they were actually sold as key rings as well for a while I can sort of see why I wouldn't dream of it though I'd be very upset if I lost any of these so so yeah let's put the two Thomases over to the side here because what is Thomas without Uh, let me just find the matching pair. Uh, here we are. So what's Thomas without Annie and Clarabelle? And uh, now these have a simple hole and pin coupling. Now there is a curiosity about these because yeah we have this Annie and Clarabelle. I'm just going to de demonstrate something there because I have another one. We also have this Annie and Clarabelle. Spot the difference? Yeah. <laughs> there was a bit of an issue I found in that these, I think these were later ones, they just would not take the corners properly. I mean, I'll just grab a set here. There was a problem with these. So you got, yeah, let's put Thomas on the front as well. They just would not take the corner properly. Whereas if you put on the one with the longer coupling, yeah, the train is slightly longer. But isn't that better? I don't get why they changed that. I think, I think those two were later ones though. I'm not sure why they changed that. That's very weird. Because in the next two I'm going to show you, yeah, it's also evident. So we've got the trucks. Now, just looking at this, yeah, that is right. And we have a short pin and a long pin one. Yeah. And this has sort of the same problem where with the short pin. It's actually not so bad because these don't have roofs. And they will go around the corner quite well. But yeah, that's just a really weird design choice. I'm not entirely sure why they'd change that. It's not like you're saving on a huge amount of material, really. So we'll just put those to the side and move on to the next one, which is, of course, Edward. We had him out earlier. There we are. Let's focus on him. Uh, yeah, very much the same sort of um, paint scheme as Thomas, the, the red and blue. He he looks really good. Yeah, he's quite cool. I wonder about that for a moment. The camera likes to focus on that for some reason. But yeah, we this is very much like the at all. The, the larger uh, tool. 
And these are and these were really fun to play with. So let's just put Edward there. Next one. Where's Edward without James? Now this one, the the face is a lot better preserved. These, funny enough, these sticker faces is pretty much what uh, the the larger ones looked like, from what I recall. Um, they're sort of a little bit more railway series esque. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very well uh, applied, in fact. They've not really missed a huge amount of detail uh, in the shrinking down process. Now, I believe he is a very similar size to Edward. In fact, how is he lengthwise? Fractionally longer. But yeah. Now, I think Edward and James were the two longest engines they did. Because going from long to very short, we have Bill and Ben. And there's their daft faces. And they've got identical faces, but obviously uh, they've got the separate names, of course. Now, I don't think, yeah, I had to double check that with the naked eye. I don't think that uh, they have the SEC written on the back. And obviously the, the back is blanked out. Similar running to the, uh, to the larger ones, two, two sort of wide wheels, really. Still, yeah, they roll quite well still. Well, that one rolls really well. But yeah, I remember specifically these two because these came up long later and they came along with the, the viaduct sections, which I mentioned earlier. And so let's move on to Toby, the big shed. Yeah, he's got the same running. I could possibly actually take him apart, but I'm not going to. Now, he's quite well done, I think. Obviously, you're missing the uh, the detail of the of the wooden slats and things, but really, for a toy of this size, it's it's really quite remarkable. It's, it's a fairly... It is, I think, one of the bigger ones, actually. So we put him next to Thomas. There's a fair chunk of metal to him. It's obviously not as long as Edward or James, but yeah, no, I like Toby. Toby's kind of cool. I don't think this actually came with Henrietta though, or at least I didn't get a Henrietta. And this is, of course, Percy. He looks a little bit railway series. Now what you will notice with this one, the face has long since disappeared. So yeah, he had a paper face the same as the others, which obviously looked like Percy. And so you can just about make out the number six. But yeah, he's quite basic. He's he's fairly short as well. He's fractionally shorter than Thomas. We are getting to the end, so um, we have Montague, AKA Duck. I'm really struggling with the light here, so. Um, but yeah, his, he's got a very similar paint application to Percy, the very similar green, although his is slightly more vibrant. And yeah, you can see obviously number eight, GWR. You know where you are with Duck. But yeah, that's quite a, he's a fairly chunky one as well. Um, I can't remember what set he actually came with. I'd need to look it up. That would involve research, so I'm not going to do that. And now this is another duplicate. Um, there's a bit of a story as to why I've got a duplicate. So yeah, we have Trevor with his identical faces. And actually, I'm going to put one down. We'll look at one. They both look, they're both exactly identical. But yeah, so four solid wheels. I think this is one of the few which actually had four wheels, in fact. And yeah, it's uh, well, it's Trevor, really, isn't it? He's a traction engine. 
you can pull things. So if for some mad reason you wanted him to pull some trucks, no idea why, it looks weird, then yeah, you can do that. So yeah, you have uh, a collection of Ertel miniatures, which I promise you, I have more, but I can't find them. So if I find them, I'll do a part two to this video, but I'm afraid that's your lot. Thanks very much for uh, watching. Like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell. Yeah, you know the thing. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll find some some more of these. But I'll have more content for you anyway. Thank you very much for listening. Oh no, I'm gonna cry.